Chili con carne or chili con carne, tilly cocaine, meaning chili with meat, and commonly known in American English as simply chili, is a spicy stew containing chili peppers, meat, usually beef, and often tomatoes and beans. Other seasonings may include garlic, onions, and cumin. Geographic and personal tastes involve different types of meat and ingredients. Recipes provoke disputes among aficionados, some of whom insist that the word chili applies only to the basic dish, without beans and tomatoes. Chili con carne is a frequent dish for cook-offs and is used as an ingredient in other dishes. <inaudible> <inaudible> Origins and history In Spanish, the word chili from the Nahuatl chili refers to a chili pepper, and carne is Spanish for meat. A recipe dating back to the 1850s describes dried beef, suet, dried chili peppers and salt, which were pounded together, formed into bricks and left to dry, which could then be boiled in pots on the trail. Chili originated from what is now northern Mexico and southern Texas. Unlike some other Texas foods, such as barbecued brisket, which is associated with white men, chili largely originated with working-class Tejana and Mexican women. The Chili Queens of San Antonio, Texas were particularly famous in previous decades for selling their inexpensive chili-flavored beef stew in their casual, chili joints. The San Antonio Chili Stand, in operation at the 1893 Columbian Exposition in Chicago, helped popularize chili by allowing Americans to appreciate its taste. San Antonio was a tourist destination and helped Texas-style chili con carne spread throughout the South and West. Chili con carne is the official dish of the U.S. state of Texas as designated by the House Concurrent Resolution No. 18 of the 65th Texas Legislature during its regular session in 1977. <laughs> Chili parlors Before World War II, hundreds of small, family-run chili parlors also known as chili joints could be found throughout Texas and other states, particularly those in which émigré Texans had made new homes. Each establishment usually had a claim to some kind of secret recipe. By 1904, chili parlors were opening outside of Texas, in part due to the availability of commercial versions of chili powder, first manufactured in Texas in the late 19th century. After working at the Louisiana Purchase Exposition, Charles Taylor opened a chili parlor in Carlinville, Illinois, serving Mexican chili. Verilos, the oldest restaurant in Tennessee, opened as a chili parlor in 1907, competing with other chili parlors that had opened in Nashville during the 1890s. In the 1920s and 1930s, chains of diner-style chili parlors began opening in the Midwest. Cincinnati chili arguably represents the most vibrant continuation of the chili parlor tradition, with dozens of restaurants offering this style throughout the Cincinnati area. It can be traced back to at least 1922, when the original Empress Chili location opened. In Green Bay, Wisconsin, the chili parlor Chili John's has existed since 1913. As with Cincinnati chili, it is most commonly served over spaghetti with oyster crackers, but the recipe is less sweet with a higher proportion of fat. The original proprietor's son opened a second location in Burbank, California in 1946, which is also still in existence. Until the late 2000s, a chili parlor dating to 1904, O.T. Hodge, continued to operate in St. Louis. It featured a chili topped dish called a slinger, two cheeseburger patties, hash browns, and two eggs, and smothered in chili. As of 2014, no O.T. Hodge branded locations remain. Topic. Dispute over ingredients Topic. Beans Beans, a staple of Tex-Mex cuisine, have been associated with chili as far back as the early 20th century. The question of whether beans belong in chili has long been a matter of contention among chili cooks. While it is generally accepted that the earliest chilies did not include beans, proponents of their inclusion contend that chili with beans has a long enough history so as to not be considered unauthentic. The Chili Appreciation Society International specified in 1999 that, among other things, cooks are forbidden to include beans in the preparation of chili for official competition—nor are they allowed to marinate any meats. 
Small red or pink common beans are commonly used for chili, as are black-eyed peas, kidney beans, pinto beans, great northern beans, or navy beans. Chili may or may not contain beans and may even be made without any other vegetables whatsoever besides chili peppers. Most commercially prepared canned chili includes beans. Commercial chili prepared without beans is usually called chili no beans in the United States. Some U.S. manufacturers, notably Bush Brothers and Company and Eden Organic, also sell canned precooked beans without meat that are labeled chili beans. These beans are intended for consumers to add to a chili recipe and are often sold with spices added. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Tomatoes. Tomatoes are another ingredient on which opinions differ. Wick Fowler, North Texas newspaperman and inventor of two alarm chili which he later marketed as a kit of spices, insisted on adding tomato sauce to his chili. One 15 Oz, can per 3 pounds of meat. He also believed that chili should never be eaten freshly cooked but refrigerated overnight to seal in the flavor. Matt Weinstock, a Los Angeles newspaper columnist, once remarked that Fowler's chili was reputed to open 18 sinus cavities unknown to the medical profession. Variations <inaudible> 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 Vegetarian chili Vegetarian chili also known as chili sin carne, chili without meat, chili non carne, and chili sans carne acquired wide popularity in the U.S. during the 1960s and 1970s with the rise of vegetarianism. It is also popular with those on a diet restricting the use of red meat. To make the chili vegetarian, the cook leaves out the meat or replaces it with a meat analog, such as textured vegetable protein or tofu, or a starchy vegetable, such as potatoes. These chilies nearly always include beans. Variants may contain corn, squash, mushrooms, or beets. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Chili verde. Chili verde green chili, is a moderately to extremely spicy New Mexican cuisine stew or sauce usually made from chunks of pork that have been slow cooked in chicken broth, garlic, tomatillos, and roasted green chilies. Tomatoes are rarely used. The spiciness of the chili is adjusted with poblano, jalapeno, serrano, and occasionally habanero peppers. Chili verde is a common filling for the Mission Burrito. White chili White chili is made using white beans and turkey meat or chicken breast instead of a tomato-based sauce and red meat beef. The resulting dish appears white when cooked. <laughs> Accompaniments and additions The dish may be served with toppings or accompaniments. Grated cheese, diced onions, and sour cream are common toppings, as are saltine crackers, tortilla chips or corn chips, cornbread, rolled up corn or flour tortillas, and pork tamales. Chili can also be served over rice or pasta such as spaghetti. Topic: <laughs> Pre-made chili. Canned chili Willie Gebhardt, originally of New Brownfels, Texas, and later of San Antonio, produced the first canned chili in 1908. Rancher Lyman Davis near Corsicana, Texas, developed Wolf brand chili in 1895. He owned a meat market and was a particular fan of Texas-style chili. In the 1880s, in partnership with an experienced range cook, he began producing heavily spiced chili based on chunks of lean beef and rendered beef suet, which he sold by the pot to local cafes. In 1921, Davis began canning his product, naming it for his pet wolf, Kaiser Bill. Wolf brand canned chili was a favorite of Will Rogers, who always took along a case when traveling and performing in other regions of the world. Ernest Tubb, the country singer, was such a fan that one Texas hotel maintained a supply of Wolf brand for his visits. Both the Gebhardt and Wolf brands are now owned by Conagra Foods, Inc. 
Another major maker of canned chili, Hormel, sells chili available with or without beans, made with turkey or in vegetarian varieties, under their own name and other brands like Stag. Brick chili Another method of marketing commercial chili in the days before widespread home refrigerators was brick chili. It was produced by pressing out nearly all of the moisture, leaving a solid substance roughly the size and shape of a half brick. Wolf brand was originally sold in this form. Commonly available in small towns and rural areas of the American Southwest in the first three quarters of the 20th century, brick chili has largely been surpassed by canned chili, but can still be found in some stores. Seasoning mix Home cooks may also purchase seasoning mixes for chili, including packets of dry ingredients such as chili powder, masa flour, salt, and cayenne pepper, to flavor meat and other ingredients. Other dishes made with chili A chili dog is a hot dog served with a topping of chili, usually without beans. A chili burger is a burger topped with chili, usually without beans. A chili size may refer to chili served over a ground beef patty in a bowl. Chili is also added to French fries and cheese to make chili cheese fries, or Coney Island fries. Chili mac is a dish made with canned chili, or roughly the same ingredients as chili meat, spices, onion, tomato sauce, beans, and sometimes other vegetables, with the addition of macaroni or some other pasta. Chili mac is a standard dish in the U.S. military and is one of the varieties of meal, ready to eat MRE. A frito pie or walking taco, as it is called at festivals and county fairs in the Midwest, typically consists of a small, single-serving bag of Fritos corn chips with a cup of chili poured over the top, usually finished up with grated cheese or onions and jalapenos and sour cream. Frito pies are popular in the southwestern United States. See also Goulash Rice and beans List of legume dishes List of stews Notes